Good morning. Welcome to the forecast discussion for May 21st, 2012. It is 8.45 a.m. and it's pretty cloudy out there with periods of heavy rain at times over much of central and northern New Jersey. And that heavy rain will be moving into southern New Jersey and the Philadelphia metropolitan area over the next several hours. How much heavy rainfall has fallen? Well, over an inch of rain has fallen in the Monmouth County and Middlesex counties of New Jersey which has prompted a flood advisory to be issued until 11.30 a.m. I expect more of these flood advisories to uh, be issued and possibly flash flood watches to be issued over much of southern New Jersey and, and uh, central New Jersey and southeastern Pennsylvania through the afternoon hours. So let's take a look at the latest radar. You can see, by the way, that it's overcast. It's a little bit foggy out there with the visibility falling below a mile and rather warm. Temperatures are in the upper 50s to lower 60s. So it's a bit of a raw weekend, com raw morning compared to what we dealt with this weekend, which was absolutely beautiful. So here we are with the radar. You can see one batch of moderate to heavy rainfall slowly inching up towards the New York City metropolitan area. Moderate, moderate to heavy rain can be expected over northern New Jersey for this afternoon and southern portions of the New York City metropolitan area, especially portions around Long Island. I think some of this is going to lift northeast into Long Island eventually. The further east you are, the better chance you'll see absolutely nothing but overcast skies and a few widely scattered showers. So if you're in Connecticut, you're pretty much in the clear for right now. The heaviest rainfall is clearly going to focus towards Central and southern New Jersey and southeastern Pennsylvania as this batch of heavy rain which extends all the way back into the central Atlantic will move into the region with moderate to heavy rainfall and the potential for very poor visibility below two miles at times and heavy downpours, uh, major ponding on the roadways, localized flash flooding. It's not going to be pretty for this afternoon with the rush hour. So if you are driving, use some caution. And even if you're not in a steady rainfall, these showers are tropical in origin. They're not associated with tropical storm Alberto, but they are tropical in origin and they're capable of producing very heavy downpours in a very short period of time. So if you are caught in one of these showers, drive slowly, take your time because your visibility will drop rapidly and the rainfall on the roadways can lead to some hydroplaning and some serious problems with your driving. So use some caution this afternoon. This is the infrared satellite picture. And you can see Alberto is nowhere near associated with this heavy rainfall. Okay, Alberto is a very small, very compact tropical storm that is barely hanging on with 40 mile per hour winds. I expect Alberto to eventually dissipate over the next 24 hours and to not be a threat for the East Coast. What we are dealing with is an area of moisture that's originating off of the South Carolina coastal waters around the Gulf Stream actually and moves right back into the New Jersey coastal waters ahead of this advancing cold front. So what you have here is cool air at the surface. There's very warm air moving over that cool air and as a result you get periods of moderate to heavy rainfall. The further east you are from this whole setup the drier you'll be. But right now the Philadelphia metropolitan area and extreme portions of the extreme southern portions of the New York City metropolitan area are under the gun with periods of heavy rainfall for today and likely for tomorrow. Taking a look at the water vapor satellite picture, you can see this a little bit better. This stream of moisture lifting right up into the New Jersey coast, producing moderate to heavy rainfall. This high pressure system will shift towards New England, basically producing comfortable weather conditions for northern New England this afternoon. And of course we have our cold front here. Now this cold front will slowly approach the northern mid-Atlantic on Wednesday producing scattered showers and a few isolated thunderstorms. The cold front will stall for a time on Thursday and Friday with a few scattered showers and then eventually exit out into the Atlantic by Saturday and Sunday. So let's take a look at the latest forecast guidance. Again using the European model guidance from the Penn State Wall website and you can see this evening we have that upper level disturbance driving that moisture into the New Jersey coast producing periods of moderate heavy rainfall. Notice it's very warm though over the east coast because we have all this warm air driving in. Moving in towards tomorrow again we are under the same type of situation same, same uh, setup. Winds aloft are going to start to back towards the southwest and that's going to reduce the, the amount of rainfall we'll see tomorrow but still a threat for scattered showers and a few isolated thunderstorms. 
Wednesday, that cold front will attempt to move through, but stall out with more scattered showers and thunderstorms possible. Again, not a complete washout like today is over some locations, but clearly a threat for showers and, and isolated thunderstorms capable of very heavy downpours. That threat will continue on all the way through this week. Now, when I say this week, I, basically what we're dealing with is a threat for scattered showers every afternoon. Temperatures will be very warm because we're going to have winds at all levels from the south, which means that we're going to see temperatures in the upper 70s to lower 80s for many locations by the end of this week, which is about 10 degrees above normal. By this weekend, that rain exits, an upper level ridge settles over the northern mid-Atlantic, and temperatures will rebound nicely into the upper 70s to mid 80s for highs, setting up a beautiful weekend for the northern mid-Atlantic. Well, that's your forecast for today. Of course, I'm your meteorologist, Stephen DiMartino. Follow the latest weather information at nynjpaweather.com and nynjpaweather on Twitter and Facebook. Have a wonderful day. Stay safe out there.